Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review, and today we're taking a look at, from the Transformers Legacy line, this is Wave 2 Deluxe Alita 1. I got this figure from Toy Arena, because as I've explained in other review videos, uh, Toy Arena was basically the only one that had all four Wave 2 Deluxes in stock at the same time, at a price that was somewhat reasonable. Um, these are slowly starting to trickle out to other retail locations now and should be easy to find sooner than later uh, unless you're waiting for Amazon.com, which is apparently just shipping Blitzwing now after being available for two, so two solid months, two and a half months. Uh, Alita has a very nice car mode and two translucent weapons. The translucent weapons give away the secret, as well as the car mode gives away the secret that this is basically a... Um, not the intended mold for Alita 1, or Alita 1 was not the intended use for the mold. As we all know, this is going to be repainted with a new head into Minerva. Um, as far, I'm pretty sure this is Alita 1's rifle, and this is a very close, clear Energon reproduction of the rifle, long pistol, that came with Minerva. I never had Minerva or any of its... Uh, the American version, I think it was Siren back in the day, so I really can't tell you, but that does explain why you have a little piece here that is removable that's the supposed to be the tip of Alita 1's head. I, I think that's where the Sirens are going to go on Minerva. Minerva is going to be a Walgreens exclusive, so may the Force be with you in getting her. So make sure that, yeah, this is straight or as straight as I'm going to get it. One thing I want to mention in vehicle mode is one of the last steps for the transformation is folding the feet in, and on this foot right here, it tends to go in a little bit further than this one. This one has a little bit of a spring back, so I don't know if it's supposed to sit flush all the way up like this. Oh, and it's staying now. Or jut it out like it was, like so. I don't know. Look at that. Now it's going to stay in. Well, whatever. It's. I don't think it makes much of a difference. But, by the way, you do have some 5mm ports for blast effects. So you can turn this into a turbo car. Uh... You see most of Alita right there, but I gotta tell you, there are some fun transformation steps uh, to this uh, vehicle and robot and toy in general that I think are kind of cool. It's not a total shell former, certainly it's not an Earthrise RC. So how about we pause and then we come back uh, for the transformation? All right, gave us a little room. Transformation actually is not that difficult. First thing you want to do is flip out the feet and push them back into that position. Next, what you want to do is come to what is the rear of the vehicle mode and bring separate these back panels and bring them down and snap them into place. The legs do this interesting trick where the feet and the outer parts of the leg separate and uh, flip up to form the rear of the car, whereas the main part of the legs peg together, which you're going to unpeg right now, mm, just like so. And while you do that, come in and fold these panels up, closing off that inside part of the leg. Not bad, not bad at all. And yes, we have Alita standing, standing. Uh, basically, what you want to do now is separate the arms from the... Uh, this front section of the car as well as the uh, wheel wells and you're just going to do that first you'll pop it down and then slide it out like that so pop it down and then wiggle jiggle it out just like that and then what you'll do is rotate the fist so you see the back of the hand and then rotate the arm at the bicep so the elbow faces forward uh, this is slowly becoming a pet peeve of mine. I think that that needless extra tra like rotation, just rotate the arms once. Have it so you can rotate the arms once. I just you, you know it just irks me. I don't know why. Um, the next step, what you want to do is come in here and just separate, bring this whole section up ever so slightly. Give yourself enough room to fold this panel up underneath, and there's a tab right there that is going to loosely sort of fit into the back of Alita 1. Rotate the waist, the figure at the waist to bring the legs around facing forward. That will actually help that panel sit a little more flush into the body. Finally, what we can do is bring this uh, 
bring this back section uh, uh, back a little just to give you some room and unpeg these what will be these back pylons from the front of the car and rotate them up and once you do that bring this whole back section down this really does not peg into anything here it just uh, you would think it would but it doesn't it just sits there so and there we have Alita 1 in its robot mode and yeah this is about it these pylons sit upward uh, I kind of want to feel that they should go back more or something but uh, the instructions really aren't that clear but it and but I mean this is the natural stop and I have to tell you it does give the figure a little more height but also gives you a little bit more uh, shoulder room let's bring the weapons in here's uh, her rifle and it's interesting this is the rifle it's you it's shown holding on the front of the instructions but on the inside it's shown dual wielding so let's get it dual wielding and yeah nice little a bit of articulation i do feel a little bit of resistance when rotating the head it should be on a ball joint but uh maybe there's a little bit of mold flash in there um i don't care enough to try and fix it Obviously, there's waist articulation, universal shoulder, swivel at the bicep, 90, over 90 degree bend at the elbow, single jointed knees to give you right about 90 degrees uh, in terms of bend, universal hips, swivel, and of course, there's that ankle pivot that's part of the transformation. So, all in all, it is a solid figure, and a you know, and it's a lead one. I just wish that maybe, you know. Last time she was part of the next Netflix wave and was a retool of that Earthrise RC, which was not wonderful. And then when she was part of Power of the Primes, uh, it was a retool of Starscream. So, realistically speaking, it's like, you know, when is this character, you know, somewhat iconic G1 character, one of the first. Uh, uh, female Autobots going to get a proper, uh, you know, uh, figure. Who knows? But, you know, it's a nice toy, and it's a great preview for Minerva. Um, if you're waiting for Minerva, don't, because who knows if you'll see it or not. So how about we pause and come back for my final thoughts. So I like the Alita One toy. It's obviously not going to be the best of the line. Um, it's here really more to fill a spot. I mean, why they couldn't just put Minerva in here and make a and you know just stop with the damn Walmart? Uh, excuse me, Walgreens exclusives. <laughs> it's a whole other discussion, a whole other time. Um, like I said, I got the figure from Toy Arena. If you are that interested, uh, it might still be available. I do see these showing up on eBay, but people are asking almost double what the retail cost is. Don't buy it for that. It's not worth it. At least it's not like full of clear plastic that can break. So that's that's actually something very positive I want to mention. Outside of the windshield, there's not a lot of clear plastic on the figure, so we don't have to worry about it falling apart. So yeah. So other than that, that's all I can say. It's your old pal Chuck. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. It helps the algorithms. For Alita One, we will see you next time.